That activity was fine. There's worse ways to spend 10 minutes. Um, it was quite stressful. <laughs> I thought it was kind of fun. I was getting a bit stressed out though, trying to think of what exactly to write about, but that's just my problem. <laughs> yeah. Not really. Um, so the first thing where I was writing myself, I didn't like it because I talked about my emotions and I hate doing that, honestly. The second part, I don't mind. I honestly like one of those topics I just wrote about on my pets. <laughs> it was decent. It was, you know, I'll say decent. Um, it was good because it was like a free write type thing, you know, thing, thing. Yeah, you got whatever you want off your brain, yeah. I enjoyed it. I like to do things to help you. I really enjoyed this activity. I hadn't gotten to like just creatively write in a long time, so it was nice to kind of do that again. <laughs> I had too much fun. Uh, I was really in my element, for sure. I thought it was a fun activity. Um, Good way to get me to be creative. I really liked it. Um, it just gave me a chance to like get my um, feelings and my stress out because writing and video games are just mostly uh, how I get my stress out. The first one was about a dragon and how I'm kind of crazy in the head and maybe belong in a padded room or or like a highly intoxicated person second one was about animals that was our topic i wrote that they're kind of they're cute ugly but strange and i don't really care about any of that because they taste delicious <laughs> I wrote about baking, and it's something I like to do when I'm bored um, in my free time. And my second one, I wrote about how I like cats, and I have two kittens. Uh, yeah, for the first prompt you gave me, um, I decided to write a little bit about some of the Dungeons & Dragons characters I've been playing in a group with. Um, so I just wrote a little bit about them. Uh, for the second one, uh, you said it was about animals, so I wrote about the dog me and my family just got. Okay, I wrote about becoming a mom. That's, that was always my dream. So when I met your dad, we had uh, three kids. For the most part, you guys blessed our lives, so we were lucky. Um, and then... Your second one? My second one was... Um, I had, uh, growing up, I had um, a few different variety of animals, but my favorite animal was always a dog. Um, I had uh, a poodle and Yorkshire Terriers, and then and this one. Uh, we have, and, yeah, then we have a terrier mixed with Shepherd. <laughs> yeah, and Cody, um, and then we had Princess, who was a uh, English Springer Spaniel. And don't forget about Lucky. She wasn't super had, lucky. Yeah, Lucky was uh, not so lucky. She was, um, leaky. She, she was leaky. Yeah, uh, she was leaky. Well, at first I started writing about my anger because I had an argument with my mother today about school. Then I just realized what the heck I'm doing. So it's like, Dear Diary. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just kept. I went rogue. I just went honestly everywhere, talk about food, Mountain Dew, everything. <laughs> and then bye. Then and I later wrote about stepping on a bird, my old dog, my new dog, my brother's dog, and his cat. Honestly, I would kidnap his cat. <laughs> These are all adorable. I love them. Yeah, the first one I wrote about uh a refrigeration system because i was really panicking and what i was working on today was a report to make a refrigeration system so sorry but the second time i was writing about uh my cat max and how uh, he would prank us and we'd prank him so my first one uh i based it off of the, the initial sentence which is something i use for figuring out every one of my characters which is please tell me you haven't done anything stupid uh the second one um, when you said that the prompt was animals and I didn't have any 
cats of my own or any uh, personal stories, I went with the save the cat sort of trope and how that's changed over uh, over time in the entertainment industry and like what it is and the inverse of kicking the puppy, uh, virtue signaling like heroes and villains. Uh, so yeah. Um, in my first prompt, I wrote about a dad who passed away and how I had dreams about him and now um, all I have to hold on to him are dreams. And the second one I wrote about how we murder animals for food. Uh, the first one I wrote a story about a man who was coming out of his house and then he noticed a threat across the valley and then he was going to defend it and then I ran out of that. Um, the second one, Animal Kingdom, um, I ended up talking about like the science of animals, classes, phylums, orders, stuff like that. So in the first section, I just kind of wrote about my girlfriend and being away from her uh, for college. Like this is the second year that we've been apart, but she's a year behind me. So last year it was more like I was busy with school and work. She was busy with school and work. So we just didn't really have time to miss each other, if that make, makes any sense. So yeah, I just kind of wrote about how that made me feel and stuff like that. And then for the second one, I wrote about my girlfriend's dog, just because like, I don't know, like I just, like I like the dog, but like he's super annoying and everything like that and like i i just love dogs in general but just i don't know this dog annoys me definitely figuring out what to write about is <laughs> very difficult for me to, to determine what exactly to do in not even five minutes the hardest part was deciding what i wanted to write about trying to figure out what to write about. I'd say for the first one, it was coming up with a topic. Even though I found said topic, it was pretty decent. Second one was easy, because we had a topic given to us. But it was still a little difficult, slightly. Because, you know, you gotta write about something. Um, definitely getting either prompt started. It's usually normally like pretty easy for me to just keep something going, but starting something is kind of the hardest part of uh, just getting it going. The hardest part was just getting started, figuring out what direction I wanted to take each prompt and running with it. Mm, uh, either keeping it on track or spelling. The hardest part is probably writing about my emotions and writing on my own as I don't have a topic. So it's like, it took me more to think and I don't even like writing about myself too much. The second part was easy, but this was the hardest. Uh, definitely my own perfectionism. How every time I'm trying to write, there's always a part of me like, I can do this better, I can say this better. There's different ways I can word this that'll make it more interesting for the reader. Honestly, it was, not really having anything to go off of like the first one you literally just told me to write about anything write about what's on my mind and i don't know that was super hard also like having the time constraint that was hard it's just like knowing that i only have five minutes to write something the second one like you literally just told me to write about anything related to animals and I'm like just the second one was harder for me because there wasn't much I could write about the dog like I just kind of ran out of things to talk about dealing with the surrounding noise interrupting my thought process I prefer being able to write what I want to write about I would prefer being able to write about anything rather than giving a topic. I preferred uh, write, being able to write about whatever I wanted because um, it gave me creative freedom. 
write about anything because I enjoy my mind psychotics and uh you know the adventure um I really prefer like just writing about anything because it just kind of let my mind go wherever I want and I was able to just put down put down paper and something that I know a lot about something I'm passionate about whereas when I'm given a topic like I do feel like I do better writing and better work when given a topic, but I just kind of run out of things to talk about. Um, I think in this instance, I liked being able to write about anything just because I've had a lot of ideas going around in my head and getting to write about them was kind of fun. But normally I'd say I prefer having kind of like a topic or something to go on just because that kind of gives you a direction to start. Depends. I mean, if it's a good topic, then like the fan one one was pretty easy because I, mean, I found something, but I mean, life is kind of interesting enough to write about, so yeah. Honestly, it doesn't matter for me. It doesn't make a huge difference. Like, sure, I do prefer if there's a topic so I actually can know what is basically I'm gonna be writing about, but it doesn't matter if I'm also like free writing whatever I want. I definitely preferred uh, writing about a topic that was given to me because I wasted so much time in the first one just trying to figure out what to write in the first place. I think I preferred having the, the topic given to me because with both of them I still had the freedom to do and write anything I want, but with the second one I had uh, just enough limitation to be creative and still get what the, uh, the reader wanted. I prefer having a topic given to me. It helps uh, narrow your thought process and keep you focused. Yes. Um, it's definitely an opportunity for me to flex on my own uh, creativity. I do try to limit myself though, because if they, if they give me too much freedom, I will end up writing a movie for them. Yeah. Cause then I can express myself. Yes. Um. It kind of just gave me an opportunity to like really write whatever I wanted without making it stressful. I did enjoy that. Um, I didn't really care if it was a prompt they gave us or um, just a free write. I just enjoyed writing in general. Um, but I definitely. I did like when they gave us a more specific topic, like a very specific prompt to write about as well. I do because um, it's just a big stress reliever for me uh, because I enjoy writing and just because that's how I kind of get my um, emotions out, how I get my stress out, just kind of writing and it allows me to like be allows my mind to be active and kind of like get some of that mental energy out if that makes sense like after I'm done writing like I just feel a lot calmer and a lot less energetic um yeah like when they give us an opportunity to write freely um normally I find a lot of pressure in that because there's generally a time constraint of by the end of class or something like that um, and you also have to deal with picking a direction to start writing in. It honestly depends on the situation. So like if there is like a topic or non-topic at all and where am I at mentally? Sometimes, I mean, depends if I'm in the writing mood and if I have something to write about. It would really have to depend because I know a lot of my classes we'd be given prompts like writing about something in like the science field and I really like doing research on that stuff as long as it's not too long because that's just annoying writing a ton. Being given opportunities to freely write was okay. It's not something that was like exciting or not exciting, just something to do. Three, two, one. No. No, that's not for me. No, I do not. <laughs> no. Uh, I did when I was younger, like in high school, but not anymore. Very rarely. Most of the writing that I do nowadays is organization for different projects that I'm working on. 
rarely. I usually don't write unless there is like some sort of topic that or that interests me, like a character or something. Then I write maybe a little bit. But otherwise, not really. Um. Yeah. Um. Uh, right now, it's much less than I used to. But um. Generally, I like writing little ideas and things down as they come and kind of exploring with those a little bit. But uh, generally, I haven't had a lot of time to get that done. Yes, I enjoy writing poems. It used to be more songs, but poems are just easier to write when uh, you're, you have free time. Absolutely. There, there's a number of works and progresses in my docs that have uh, yet to be published. I'm not sure if I'll ever publish. I'm not the type to write full of stories or anything like that or poetry. Like, I don't. It's not super formal. Like, if you would read my stuff that I just write, like, it wouldn't make very much sense to you. But I, I like to journal a lot. I like to explain things to my friends a lot. Um, so, I mean, it's really just a lot of more what's on my mind, like, just kind of word throw up, I guess. Doesn't make a lot of sense to someone who's like reading it but it makes a lot of sense like when i write something like when i look at my own writing it's just i like re-feel how i felt when i was writing that expression writing about what i want to write about Something I like about creative writing is having the freedom to write about what I want to write. I like being able to write stories um, about what I want to write about. Uh, some elements that I like about creative writing is that I can really write whatever I want on the page, like any like fantasy or stupidity that I want to write is what I love because I can just write whatever's on my mind. The freedom of expression. The way I can take what's in here and put it in writing. I really like just letting my mind wander and seeing where I end up. Uh, just kind of getting my thoughts on the page and uh, writing down what comes in my head and seeing if like it makes any sense to anyone else besides me. Like, I feel like it's more personal, more like me with the writing rather than me trying to talk to someone. One element of creating of creative writing that I really enjoy is getting to make uh, like my own characters and stuff. Um, getting to kind of explore different like personalities and how I think they do things in the story. Um, and I also like getting to come up with an idea that's kind of uh, twisted from what normally would happen and then seeing how things would play out from that. I quite like being able to explore different scenarios and ideas and seeing how it might play out in a text format. I think it's kind of fun to mess around with. I really like exploring um, concepts or ideas in fiction or in some cases nonfiction that are harder to come across in real life or just outright um, inappropriate to do or uh, morally apprehensive uh, in real life. I like enjoy the entire process of it. Just everything from just you know writing something on paper and then going back and editing it and coming up with something even more creative um, and kind of impressing yourself with some like analogies or metaphors that you create. I think that's kind of the most fun part about it is see how um, our minds can um, take these words I'm down and then you go back and edit and make it even more creative. Writing it. The writing part, honestly. Because, <laughs> like, why can't I have something that can just literally write it for me up from my mind, you know? That's the, basically, this writing takes so much time. Not a lot of time, but still. It's cramping your finger and, you know, so it's like, that's the worst part. I don't like being told what I have to write about. Being given 
topics that are extremely boring that involve zero imagination whatsoever. I dislike having to decide like on one topic to really write about when it's like overwhelming to decide. Um, one thing that I really dislike about creative writing is that um, normally when I start I have this this idea in my head that I go with and then I have to make sure that I include all the details of everything that I have in my head so that as a reader anyone would know uh, like what I'm going for what I'm like conveying with what I'm writing and a lot of the times I kind of jump over details and that's just something I need to get better with. The perfectionism aspect I guess uh, because you're so free to do anything like you want to make or not, not the perfectionism, the translating your ideas. Um, like, whatever you have in your head that seems perfect doesn't translate perfectly on the page, and you're going back and forth and trying to figure out how to make it that perfect idea, or just compromising. It's very difficult for me to keep a coherent track of thought most of the time, and also just trying to think of what exactly I want to write, because I'll keep on changing my mind halfway through. And even in the end, I'll just compare myself to other people and be like, oh, this isn't good. One of my big personal problems with creative writing is trying to, or I guess getting hung up on the idea of having an original idea for your creative writing. If it's a story, wanting to make sure that it's not like a rehash or too similar to something else. You want to be original. Really, the, it's the lack of structure. Like it just, while it does, engage my mind and like lets me express myself for me when I write it's usually a lot more structured like a lot more it's not me like creating the story it's me putting the story together like um in my major journalism I go out gather uh sources gather the facts that happen and, and then I put it together to create a story and that's a lot more structured to me. I have two words for you. Writer's block. 